Welcome. In a previous video, I compared the performance of FFmpeg on Windows 10 versus Windows Subsystem for Linux, and I got about the same results, so I encoded a file and it took about 2 minutes 20 seconds to do it in Windows and in Windows Subsystem for Linux, so I had very similar results. Well, the computer I tried that on dual boots into Ubuntu, so I'm actually booted into Ubuntu now, and I'm going to run the same FFmpeg command to see how long it takes on native Ubuntu. So I'll insert a clip from the last video of when I encoded it on Windows. Okay, that took 2 minutes and 22 seconds. Okay, so that's completed. So now I'm going to run it here on Ubuntu. So I have the time command here that will tell me how long it took, and everything else is the same on here, and I'm using software encoding, so it's libx264. So I'll run this, and we'll see how long it takes. Okay, so that completed, and it took 2 minutes 8 seconds. So it was a little bit faster than running it on Windows 10, and running it on Windows Subsystem for Linux, but still in the same ballpark as those two. So I have the files I did on the other systems on here, so I'll clear my screen, I'll take a look at those. So if you look at the file sizes here, you can see that Windows is slightly different, and I was using a slightly different version of FFmpeg. They were nearly the same, but on the Ubuntu and Windows Subsystem for Linux, you see the number is the same, so I want to see if those are exactly the same. So I'll type diff space, and then I'll type train whistle underscore 1080p, underscore Ubuntu, and then I'll say train whistle underscore 1080p underscore WSL. And when you hit enter there, nothing was different. So that means these files were exactly the same. So we got the same result running it on Windows Subsystem for Linux as running it on native Ubuntu. So what this is telling me is you can get nearly the same performance in Ubuntu running it under Windows Subsystem for Linux as you can running native Ubuntu. Now I did a previous test where I tested Firefox running under an X server on Windows and that had terrible performance compared to just running native Windows 10 Firefox. But if you're running command line utilities and such, it seems like Windows Subsystem for Linux is a good alternative to dual booting. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.